Have you been spending too much money on gas? And are you looking for a solution to this? Then this video might just change your life. We're talking about the difference between gas and electric charged vehicles. In fact, according to how the world is changing, gas powered vehicles may be a thing of the past. The future is electric and Tesla has taken up the challenge. In this video, we shall tell you the truth on whether electricity is better than gas. So keep watching until the end to find out exactly how much you're likely to save with an electric vehicle. Now, Tesla vehicles are not only electric charged, but also environmentally friendly. And the only limitation is that they're quite expensive. Their prices start around $81,000. This is the base Model S. That is quite high, and someone will probably ask themselves, is it worth it? At the end of this video, we will be able to answer this question for you. Additionally, with a Tesla, you can benefit further from electric vehicle tax breaks and the ongoing low maintenance costs. When you buy one of these vehicles, you'll have to give up on gas stations and replace them with electric charging stations. Most people assume that this is the disadvantage, but as you're soon to find out, it is the advantage. You may also assume that the vehicle is going to run out of charge while traveling, but again, you will soon realize that this is not likely to happen. They can keep the charge for a very long time. One main benefit of owning an electric vehicle, which most people tend to overlook, is that you can charge your vehicle all night as you sleep. With a fully charged battery, you don't have to stop at all during the day to recharge, contrary to popular belief. Well, keep watching so you can find out more about this. We will analyze the difference of charging and gassing by looking at the Tesla Model 3 vehicle that has been used for three years. This adds up to 75,000 miles. Please remember that the cost of gas and electricity depends on the geographical locations. For this video, we're in Kentucky. In Louisiana, it's not hard to see people charging their batteries from a supercharger at much less cost compared to filling up the gas tank. The total cost of charging. To evaluate the total cost of charging an electric vehicle, there are two main categories, home charging costs and travel charging costs. Let us begin with home charging. So the first cost you need to consider is how much you'll have to pay to charge your car at home. If you choose to charge your car at night, you can do so during off-peak hours, when the electric costs are low. Any Tesla model car will come with a public charge adapter and mobile connector. The normal electric voltage is 110 volts for the outlet adapter and 1450 for the NEMA adapter. Now, to install the charger at home, you may be required to spend around $100, although it depends on your situation. When everything is set, you can start charging your car as you sleep. What is the power cost after 75,000 miles? At the end of the 75,000 miles, the expected amount of power you will have spent adds up to 18,656 kilowatt hours, or KWH. As we mentioned earlier, this is over a period of three years. One point to note is that once you have filled the gas, it will stay in the tank until you use it. With Tesla, not all the power makes it into the battery because heat and many other factors will sometimes nibble the flow of electricity flowing into the battery. After charging is complete, the total amount of electricity you will have on your battery is called walls to wheels. While it's difficult to identify the exact amount, the Tesla Fi app makes it easy for you by keeping track of all of the stats of your car. Technically, a 240 volt charger can get you a walls to wheel charge efficiency of 94%. Please note, however, that you should consider the phantom drain, which is where the car will lose some charge with time while parked and not plugged in. The app calculates that the phantom drain is around 0.3 miles each hour. And after consideration, the assumption is that the walls to wheel efficiency is around 90%. This, therefore, means that the total kilowatt hours from the power grid are approximately 20,728. Now on to travel charging. The best guess with travel charging is around 2,000 miles each year. This is approximately 8% of the total traveling miles, and the other 92% is from home charging. You should also factor in the free charging from several travel destinations. Yet another advantage that gas car owners don't get, as there are no free gas stations. Total traveling cost. If you can spend only $54 on supercharging, as we mentioned earlier, it means you will have spent $54 for three years which is what we're considering for this analysis. This is, therefore, 8% of the charging. The rest we charge at home. Tesla has a referral program that can earn you 1,000 free supercharging miles whenever you refer someone. Now, before we proceed with actual savings, if you haven't already, please leave a like for this video by clicking the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed already, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we put out a new video. 
If, for example, you have a referral system that is able to reach around 1,400 people, such as a YouTube page, then this is equal to 1.7 free million miles for supercharging. Additionally, if the electricity rate is around 7 cents, this will be the equivalent of approximately $1,350 of home charging. Add the $54 to this, and the total so far will be $1,404 in total. This could, however, be different if you have to set up a unique charging system in your home. So after 75,000 miles, you will have spent $1,404 charging your Tesla. Charging versus gas at 75,000 miles. For comparison purposes, we will use the BMW 2018 3 Series that averages approximately 28 miles per gallon and the Tesla Model 3. The BMW requires regular gasoline that costs on average $3.47 per gallon in Kentucky. To drive the BMW, the same number of miles would cost about $9,353, which is almost $8,000 more than the Tesla. So in the end, you can see that Tesla is cheaper and will cost less in terms of charging. You're probably shocked. Yes, with an EV vehicle, you will potentially save $8,000 in a period of three years. Is there any way that EVs can be more expensive? Some people who are misinformed say that EVs are more expensive than gas cars. Well, this is not likely to be true, unless you're using expensive fast charging exclusively and if you do it in an area where the electricity is very expensive. In reality, it is highly unlikely for an EV vehicle to be more expensive than a gas car in terms of fuel. Other than some expensive off-public charging, the driver can manage to avoid them altogether. There is plenty of great information about electric cars on the web right now, and there is also lots of misinformation. It, therefore, makes it hard for anyone to believe what we're trying to tell you. Anyway, with that said, the bottom line is this. No matter which EV you have, or when and where you charge it, the likelihood of saving money on fuel is high compared to using a gas car. If you've been asking yourself, how much will I save? Then we have analyzed that for you. In a period of approximately three years, you can save up to $8,000. It is, therefore, a solid idea for you to own an EV vehicle. Our review above uses the results from the vehicle for this period, and we base the stats on actual data. However, don't forget that just like gasoline, electricity costs vary depending on where you're located. Even if you decide to only charge from home, you will have many different levels of savings. When you add the public fast charging and supercharging, the fluctuations are even more. In Kentucky, which is the state we used for our evaluation, the price of electricity lands in the middle compared to other states. So what do you think? Would you change from a gas-powered vehicle to an electric one? Let us know by leaving a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Simply click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell to be notified the minute we put out a new video. Thank you for watching.